Greetings and salutations, Relax Gamer Nation, and welcome back to Automations Unleashed, where we do anything but automation stuff. Yes. Hello, and welcome back. Um, in the last episode, we did a bunch of stuff in, like, the hangar. We did some stuff in the, the space dock. Um, if you were here for the live stream, which was just a random live stream that I did what last Monday this earlier earlier this week on Monday my time uh, you would have saw something that I've been building or working on and seen my frustrations if you actually watched it all the way through <laughs> which I'm pretty sure 70 to 80 percent of you didn't it's fine you got better things to watch I understand I'm not that entertaining I completely understand that I have to put more explosions and stuff like that on my on my screen I gotta get into big fights you know stuff like that and uh, you know what these space engineer ships take a long time to build and sure you can blueprint them and stuff and once you're able to actually blueprint them then you can go out and fight but they take a long time to build. <laughs> a long time to build. Get something that actually seems to work okay. Um, since this is going out on the Thursday prior to Christmas, uh, I wish you happy Merry Christmas. Or a Merry Happy Christmas. A ma Merry Joy Joy Christmas Happiness. Stuff like that. Uh, because... I am not going to be able to record next week. Absolutely, 100% not a freaking chance. And I don't have time to actually record two episodes back to back. But I might be able to create a random live stream next week. Maybe on the 28th, possibly. Um, it will be evening my time, so for some of you it might be 5.30 your time. <laughs> but let me take a look at the calendar here. Oh, I'm in the wrong screen. <laughs> there we go. Doesn't really matter, but whatever. Uh, the wrong scene. Yeah, the 28th. I might do a random live stream. I might. We'll see. It'll be evening time for me. Uh, when all the when the kittens have gone to bed, when the wife has gone to bed, and when I'm just sitting here relaxing. Why don't we talk for three minutes? I guess so. That doesn't seem right. We get an audio. Yeah, and I'm getting some background noise. Yeah, I don't know. I don't know anymore. But Merry Christmas. And uh, Happy New Year. I don't know if I'm going to get a video up for the New Year's. We'll see. Uh, one of the things that I'm hoping to start to do is more actual uh, live stream content. You know, basic stuff like maybe building a spaceship. Or maybe jumping into another game to check it out. Or whatever. So stay tuned for that stuff. And if you have the chance and would like to support me, you know how to do that. So, yeah. But first off, before we actually get going, if you're not subscribed yet, you should probably hit that subscribe button and definitely like this video. There. Now that we're done with that, definitely like the video. It helps you to push me out so other people can actually find me. Granted, if you don't want any other people to actually find me and you want to keep me by yourself, to yourself, and the 80 some odd of you that actually watch my videos, then don't hit that like button. But I would appreciate if you did. <laughs> anyway, let's get going. Let, let's take a look at the mess that I've created so far. Uh, now, these hangers take a freaking long time and I haven't even put lights in yet. So it's gonna be dark. And we just have to be at nighttime as well. <laughs> and, uh, don't mind the pink or purple or whatever the color is. I'm I'm trying different colors and I don't know if they're gonna work out. So we'll see. Um, yeah. 
So this is all I've gotten done. Oh yeah, it's pretty much the same thing you saw at the, last, at the end of the last episode. I'm hoping to get the rest of this floor put down, but I am really having troubles picking a color. Um, I want it to be nice and vibrant, but on the other hand, I don't want it to be too... whatever this is. <laughs> uh, so this is gonna change and I don't want it to be just plain old one tone oh I, I did some things up here too I'm probably gonna change it to be perfectly honest I'm probably gonna change it I was just playing around with colors <clears throat> But yeah, I might keep the red and yellow there, but I might do something for all these purple blocks. But for some weird reason, my middle mouse button is not working for uh, uh, doing the middle mouse button stuff, the painting. So that's a bummer. I think my mouse is actually dying. And that's definitely a bummer. Because mice are not cheap. <laughs> Uh, like this mouse that I'm using right now, I think I, act I actually got it for a Christmas present uh, a few years ago, and I think it's finally dying. The mechanics in it is dying. Or maybe I have to, like, lean whatever is on the wheel. I don't know. But, yeah, it's a, it's a Death Adder Elite. It's given me a good few years. But... These mice retail for like 156 bucks my my currency, which is Canadian dollars. Yeah, it's not the superior U.S. dollar, but no, yeah, I'm Canadian. What can you do? So, um, I want to get some more of this floor put together. <clears throat> I might just change it back to this beige, orangey beige color. Orangey beige color. I don't know. But we did get these doors set up, uh, well not set up, but built, and I think there is a, I was going to put down a button for him, <laughs> and I might actually put down a motion, motion sensor for it as well, to at least automate the doors. See, where automation's unleashed, we gotta automate something. But this is really just a stopgap, it's just a, 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 a side project. Because I want to get this main project started, but I got to get the main project item figured out and finished up. And that's the difficult part. Uh, if you did watch the live stream, which would have been posted Monday, um, you will see me going from, okay, I want to go with this cockpit. No, I'm going to change it to this cockpit. No, this cockpit's too wide. No, oh, that's so ugly. Stuff like that. <laughs> uh, yeah. Okay. So, okay, I moved that down there. Good. Move this over here. Good. Just to see if it works. And it does work. It fits. It fits. And this is for the bigger ships, the ones that go up to five wide. Yep. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Okay. So, I want to get this floor put together. I actually sort of want to dig into the stone. That's so weird. I, I want to, like, dig a cave in there. Because that is actually... Oops, whoops. There we go. That would actually be underneath this. I don't know. I don't know. I kind of want to, but I don't want to. What I really want to do is get on to the next part of this series. Um, where I go out into the great unknown, I do a random jump, and I end up in a completely different sector and universe and stuff like that. Speaking of which, I want your comments. I want your ideas. Give me some ideas. Now, remember, don't make them too tough, or, or you know what? 
if you are a world crafter, if you're somebody that really likes to build worlds and stuff like that and have something that you might have available for me to like toss me in like a red hot potato and figure it out, hell, let's do it. Just not the ancient astronauts thing. I do not like that because I built a world with ancient astronauts in it and I looked at the the temples and stuff like that and they are very bare bones and plain. I want intrigue, I want adventure, I want something to bring you guys here and see how badly I fail. Stuff like that, because that's just dang cool. And me, like I've said before, I do not have the time to do that. <laughs> the best thing I can do is build a custom universe, drop me in an asteroid field and try and get to a planet. <laughs> I am really not that creative and it looks like I need to extend my build repair system. We knew this was gonna happen eventually. Uh, maybe. maybe. Well, it might be fine. It could be because I just have one over there. Yeah, I just have one build repair over there, so that's... It's, uh, doing its time. I could set this up to be like, hey, dude. I want you to go to the furthest grid first. There. So start out here and bring in here. Um, and you know what? If you have a vehicle you'd like me to use or have plans for that, I'll try not to dig too deep into uh, uh, how the vehicle is made until after the first episode. <laughs> if it survives that long, which knowing me, knowing my audience, well, just knowing me in general, it won't. I'll crash it. I'll most likely crash it. There. I did something. <laughs> uh, this is going to be a short video. Uh, because I am going to be boring. I'm going to be putting down a whole bunch of stuff for the floor and I'm going to let build and repair do it. I'll probably get, I'll probably put the ceiling together as well. Um, I don't have this as multiplayer and I don't have my other computer available or rather accessible just because of where it is. It's under a whole bunch of stuff and it's a laptop to actually do a time lapse thing. So what I might do is I'll do a bit here. I'll get things laid out, I'll bring you back, do a bit more, etc. Bring you back, we'll talk a little bit, and then do a bit more. Uh, also, uh, can you give me some colors, please? Please give me some colors. I would like some colors. I would really like some colors. Some colors that kind of work. I, I, I thought of doing all white, but that's kind of boring, and this, this beigey orange is kind of... Um, uh, getting on my nerves. <laughs> I don't think I'm going to be changing that right away or yet. Is this heavy or. Oh, it's light. Okay. Uh, let's see. I could do. I'll do that. And this is battered, right? I could just do something like uh, that. Yes. So yeah, I am going to do a cut here and, well, a pause, probably just a pause, and uh, I'll bring you back in a moment. What was that? Do we have some action going on? It's fire. Oh 
Oh, it's a mod. Oh, no. I'm gonna miss, I'm gonna miss the, the excitement. Okay, I think the base is uh, decently defended. Well, actually, I can't say that quite yet because uh -oh. being attacked by something else not too. Another thing? But they're still shooting at it. Well, I think it's gone, guys. You can reset any time. Wow, I unpaused it at the perfect time almost. Like I was unpausing it, I was gonna come over and be like, oh, I'm gonna give you an update of what I've done. And then, uh, then my rail guns and other guns started firing. I'm like, oh, perfect timing. There, you got some uh, gun firing entertainment. But I do not know why these are not resetting. You should be on a 20 second timer. CVS. Around block. Custom data. Auto return to rest angle delay 20 seconds. Auto return to rest angle is true. And each of these has. Each one of these has a rotor with a custom angle in it, so zero. Enable stabilization is true. And there are shown to be a hinge, which also has a custom angle set on it. Hinge, hinge, hinge. Uh, elevation hinge. 15 degrees. They should be returning to those. This TCES is being annoying. Maybe there's an update. First, I should actually check here. Flash and game script. 1.1.1. Uh, 1 .1 .1. 825. Maybe it was an update, okay. Mm, CES. Let us see here. Or rather, let me see. Nope, no update. Most recent one is... The one that I got. Thesis. It's not TCES, it's Thesis. Okay. <laughs> Copy to editor, just does. I don't think anything's changing here. Not 1.110, date same. Okay, cool. Thesis is uh, up to date. It just doesn't like to return to the rest angles for some weird reason. Oh well. So, back to the update. 
I put a random block here just because. Oh, I died. So I gotta get my tools back. Two. Build and repair system two. Do I have a sword set up for it? Maybe. What? I do not need tools. Why would that better repair system take it? Dang it. What are you even hooked up to? Damn it. Mm, I screwed up. Of course I did. There we go. Weird. Not entirely sure how I managed that, but I did. I don't know how I did it, but I did it. Get rid of these. Bring in these. Turn that to its rightful place. I don't need not a. I don't need a lot of hydrogen. Okay, so. Wow. That block caused me so much trouble. Anyway, yeah, this is pretty much what I did. Now, I'm not sure about color. So, I'm just randomly putting colors down. Uh, the This is a sci-fi armor uh, material, which I think works. Maybe. The glamour is not showing up. So weird. But yeah, I got a big wall in. I put in another build and repair system. I moved the build and repair system that was here over to here so that I could make this airtight. I put in a medical bay so that I can charge up quickly down here instead of just jumping into my little uh, ship over here. So yeah, that's what I've done here. Um. We had a little bit of uh, combat, which was fun. Our rail guns and all the other guns got to play, which is always nice when that happens. Place of ammo, but nice nonetheless. So I am going to uh, continue on in here. I think this is plastic. Nope, no. Yeah. So yeah, that's what I'm going to continue on. I'll probably get this wall up next uh, and then work more on the floor. So I will be right back. Alrighty, so this other wall is being built. Now you might notice that I have some heavy armor here. 
Uh, that's because this is an exposed wall. So I want it to be extra protected. Um, don't know why that arm block changed colors, but whatever. There's probably something I did. It's fine, whatever. I'm going all over with colors anyway, so sure. Energy critical. Oh, my energy is critical. Med bay so fast. So we got this wall up here. I got some heavy armor. Uh, basically on the areas which face the outside. Now I gotta do the rest of this in heavy armor as well and probably down here. Uh, the, my textures are all funky because this is like glamour armor and down here I think is like heavy rust armor. I, I, I don't know, it's weird. It'll, it'll come in eventually. <laughs> So yeah, this is going to be heavy armor across there, just in case somebody comes in from over there and shoots it. Then at least it'll take a little bit of a beating before breaking. And my LLDs are all over the place. Texture quality is high. Weird. Yeah, it does that. I stare at you. How dare you, inventory warning. How dare you make my armor weird looking. I don't even know what armor is selected here. Usually it shows up in here. Let's just keep on going with this color. Of course, these are going to take a lot more materials because they need metal grids and steel plates. They're doing the work, yo. And I'm basically gonna put down all these floors now. At least a bunch of them. I've already got the floors over here. Does it need to think finish off the curve? Or the slope? Something like that. Right. Okay. Next would be this wall. It should be pretty simple. It's just a wall. <laughs> I'm tempted to make these heavy armor as well. I don't know if I have the metal grids for this. Because each one of these are 25 metal grids. Yeah, I definitely don't have metal grids for this. My assemblers are probably going crazy making the metal grids. And I might have to go mine some more cobalt. Which is not the end of the world. I have several cobalt sources. Anyway, 
I'm going to finish this up and I will bring you back in a moment. Okay, and the floor is all in. Well, Energy. mostly in. Just needs parts and we're good. But you know what? Uh, while I was welding, while I was putting the blocks down on the, uh, on the floor here, my eyes were getting very heavy. Uh, so I think I'm going to take that as a, uh, a suggestion to hop off the game here. Uh, so I know it's a shorter video. I warned you about that already. Oh, uh, but thank you very much for joining me on this short video. And I will see you guys in the next one. Yeah.